In this presentation, we're going to look at the one sample chi-square test in SPSS. And the data set we're going to use is called uh, favecalls.save, and it's available at my website, kobryandublin.wordpress.com. Now, this procedure is what they call, is one of a family of procedures called the non-parametric statistical procedures. And uh, just uh, as uh, just a remark, uh, the uh, best full screen mode is advised for looking at this in YouTube. So uh, the data set is favecalls.save, 250 children were asked their favorite color. Uh, the options are uh, red, blue, green, black, white, and yellow. Uh, test the hypothesis that each uh, color is as likely to be, uh, as is as likely to be selected as the others. And the other question we might ask is, we're gonna sort of uh, pick a hypothesis here that the test a hypothesis that 30% of children will select red and another 30% 30, uh, 30 will select blue. So uh, what we do is we go to analyze, non-parametric, and one sample. Now, when we get there, what we will do is we go to settings and customize the test, and we select the tests we want to carry out. So let's go to SPSS now. So here's our data set. Go to analyze, non-parametric, and we go to one sample. So what we do here is go to settings. Now, uh, don't automatically just click run there. What you can you can get a lot out of just go to the settings box here. So customize tests. I'm going to uh, click on customize tests. Now, compare observed probabilities to hypothesize chi-square test. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to select on that. So options. All categories have the same probability. So we have six categories. Each child is equally likely to select each of the six colors. That's our first question. So let's look at that one first. Okay, that. Now we can run that. I'll just get this into shot. Let's move that here a second. There we go. The categories of fave color equal, uh, occur with equal probability. Uh, the significance value there is 0 0.00. Reject the null hypothesis. The, the, zero, the uh, significance value is too small to... Uh, uh, for the null hypothesis to be viable. So this, uh, the uh, children don't uh, like these colors with equal probability. All right, let's do the second question. Uh, in this question, 30% of the, the uh, children liked... Um, uh, we want to test a hypothesis that 30% of the children like red and 30% of the children like blue. So we're going to go to that one now. So we're going to customize expected probabilities. Uh, red, not point three. Oops, yeah, little loop, not point three, and blue, uh, not point three zero. As well. Okay, and that. So we're going to run that. So this is the. Um, uh, by the way, that's a, there's a variable there called child ID that's not relevant to this test. It's just the, the numbers of the ch uh, each child has an ID. So what we're looking at here is the uh, output again. Down here at the bottom, we can sort of see that we can accept the null hypothesis that in general, 30% of children like red and 30% of children like uh, blue. Let's quickly just check. I'm going to bring this down here for a second now. Uh, what we're going to do is just check what the uh, frequencies were uh, for each of the uh, data sets there. So frequencies, fave color, just click on that. This is not really part of the um, what we're trying to do uh, with this uh, out, uh, presentation, but we'll just quickly have a quick remark on it. As it turned out that red was... Uh, liked by 30.4 percent of the children and blue was liked by 32 percent of the children so that ends our presentation uh, and so we'll end it there